Welcome back. Urban Love is going to downtown Fargo, and downtown Fargo's got a ton of hidden little treasures. Here today to let us in on the best-kept secrets, our Spotlight Media's Andrew Jason. Andrew, thank you for coming in today. Thanks for having me, guys. It's always a pleasure. Well, I live in West Fargo, so, and I just, it's hard to get me out of West Fargo to downtown, <laughs> but I did see your little teaser on yes. uh, Instagram that I was like, wow, 50 things I didn't necessarily know about. Yes, we'll try and entice you to bring, bring it downtown. <laughs> so far away, West yeah. Fargo. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny. Uh, every year we do a downtown issue and this year we're obviously doing our 50 hidden treasures but you know really it could be 500 hidden treasures because every little shop has these little nooks and crannies and unique products to it so it's just been fun to kind of explore um, I kept track I got 50,000 steps around downtown wow. and the wow. river and everything like that so uh, yeah it's been a lot of fun just kind of discovering these one of the things that you have in your list sounds like it should be even like the show home improvement <laughs> Broga yeah Broga what is, what Broga. is Broga so there's a new uh, yoga venue downtown called Downtown Yoga. Uh, it's above the old Etche Gallery. Uh, Danny Thompson owned it. Uh, so I believe it's August 23rd. They're doing yoga for bros. So bring your that. best bud. Uh, you do a little yoga sesh. You get a beer afterward. Uh, you can also see here on this uh, that they have doga. So you can bring your dog <laughs> to yoga. Which I'm sure sounds like a uh, great idea, but if uh, anything like my dog, it would probably would not end well. Broken. <laughs> That's right up Chris's alley, though. There you You're go. Looking at a dog, and I would also love your that. bros. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, get to drink some. Me and my broke is doing our downward dog. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. What else uh, are you sharing with us today that might be a hidden gem that people don't know about? Uh, well, one of the things I think is super cool is the downtown, well, I guess I'll talk about this one, um, Pounds. I'm not sure if you guys have been there, but uh, I would have to say if they're trying to go for a vibe, it would be a college house party. Because one of these, this is a Capri Sun shooter. Uh, so they actually just take a Capri Sun and then they just pour some booze in there and it's like a childhood drink for adults. That's awesome. It kind of bring me back to my college days or well, yeah, my younger Sure. Yes, for sure. You know what? I, I would say that pounds is something that I have mm. discovered because I thought you just ate hamburgers there. No, they got and a lot. Some of the younger, cooler people that I work with here <laughs> brought me to pounds, and I was. You're right. That's a very good description of. Yes. Like. I did not know what I was going there into, but go. I loved it. I, f I, I felt younger and hipper just right. by nice. going in there. I did not have one of these, though. So we we'll have to give it a shot. I'll have to go back down. Uh, I'm also a sucker for a good Bloody Mary, mm -hmm. uh, the VIP room. Uh, I think one of the uh, um, Fargo's hidden treasures. Oh, well, I guess I'll talk about. There we go. There it is. Uh, the VIP room. That is a Bloody Mary made oh. with wine. Uh, so it's made with a Cabernet Sauvignon, and it tastes like indistinguishable from the real thing. So if you want to go for a little bit lighter of a Bloody Mary, it was fantastic. I highly recommend it. I love that we went from the Capri Sun yeah. to the like very adult. To the uh, Cabernet uh, Sauvignon, yes. Oh, very fancy <laughs> Bloody Mary, yes. good stuff. Yeah, but I'd never heard of that either. So for sure. that's a hidden gem, for sure. Uh, one of the things I often hear from people is that, you know, you have to have money to do everything downtown. Well, this is a great example of some free stuff that you can do. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with the Red River uh, Trail that goes along the river. If you just go north of the dike, uh, about a mile, there's a wildflower grove that has a community garden. It's a great wow. maybe half mile stretch of just kind of winding mm -hmm. uh, trails through a wildflower grove with community gardens around. And it's just a fantastic family friendly thing to do. Wow. Where is that at? Uh, just north of the dike on the Red River Trail, nice. so you can just bike or uh, run. It's my favorite running trail in town. I've lived in the valley for 20 years, and I did not know this. That was <laughs> that looks awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Fun yeah. for the whole family. For right. Sure. I like that. Uh, and finally, one of the last thing I'll say is that I'm really kind of excited for just to kind of be a little no. Oh, I guess I totally forgot about this one. Um, so downtown Fargo has its own gift card, perfect gift. You can um, buy this for any dollar amount you want. And it's good for uh, dozens and dozens of restaurants, shops, bars downtown. Oh, right. So it's kind of a one-stop gift for anybody that... That's uh, awesome. Yeah. We have a ton of new people moving, you know, reporters, photographers mm -hmm. always come and go out of this market. And this is, should be like in our welcome package. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, head downtown, enjoy something on us. I like that. For sure, Or yeah. people from West Fargo or South Fargo. Right, you there know, you go. Hey, it's go great... downtown <laughs> yeah. and uh, you can spend your... Uh, money on this gift card. 100%, absolutely. Uh, and then as I was saying, the one thing I'm kind of excited for, I think it's September 15th, uh, they are doing a downtown Fargo apartment tour. 
Um, so you guys can go to like the apartments at the Ford Building, 300 Broadway, uh, Roco, all these other kind of unique, really cool high-end apartments. You can get a little nosy and kind of see what's going on down there. So um, I think it's going to be really exciting. Uh, I th through the Downtown Community Partnership, so just watch their channels and you can buy tickets from there. That's awesome. And you said these are all going to be in your August issue, which is not out yet. Correct. It goes, uh, I'll be online on Wednesday and then in print shortly after that. So keep your eyes open for it. Yeah, I can't wait to check I it know. out. It gets me kind of excited because, you know, we've been talking a lot about the ice cream shops oh, downtown. Oh, we got some ice cream are there? stuff okay. in there. And yep. also, I feel like the uh, wall yeah. art is becoming a huge thing. I do not yet have a picture with wings. Wow. Well, and I feel very left out. In here we have seven other Instagrammable what? spots. So. Graffiti nice. is the new hot Insta thing. Game there, yeah, yeah, right. Do it for the gram. Okay. Yeah. Very sure. And remind people where can we pick up the magazine when it comes out? Uh, your best spot is uh, any of the grocery stores in town. We also distribute to about 300 locations, bars, restaurants. So just keep your eyes open. You'll see it. Or FargoMonthly.com. Awesome. Stuff, Can't man. wait to check Thank it you. out. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for having me.